I love the film, Gene. I'm sure you've heard that a lot today. Um, I never get tired of hearing it. <laughs> I mean, the film is so brilliantly kind of entertaining and delivers on the epic scale and kind of action side of things. But it's also got like a lot to say and it's delving into at times quite profound kind of political and historical kind of territory. I just wanted to ask about that kind of balance and having a film peppered with those elements and yet at the same time just remaining a big old enjoyable blockbuster. Is that quite a challenge to, to get right? Um. I don't know necessarily a challenge as more of a mandate for myself and for everyone involved that um, we wanted to make a historical epic, which are just like the genre is so great. And it's always heroes and villains and and uh, taking us into worlds that we're not familiar with and David and Goliath. Mm -hmm. So um, we knew that we had that. But this is we're dealing with real history and that's interesting to us as well and so we set this film in a specific time where we could deal with some of these big issues um that i think are important to talk about and that absolutely apply to what's going on today but when it comes to like directing the action does it almost take on the act of like a dance because i guess it was it's so choreographed isn't it when you're kind of directing i guess it's almost feel yeah a bit like you're kind of directing a dance sequence almost as much as you are a kind of fight fight sequence yeah, it's, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot of planning. And with action and fighting, you just can't leave things up to chance. You can't leave things up to improvisation because then somebody, you know, they've got machetes, so it's going to get cut. Um, so it, it starts, uh, Danny Hernandez, my incredible stunt and fight coordinator, all our conversations started with character and story. What are we trying to say in this moment? What does this mean for the character? What does it reveal about character? So when you start from that, it, it makes it smaller. It doesn't feel as overwhelming. You know that you need a beginning, middle and end. So if, if you're telling a story, it really starts with that. Um, and then it's really, really, really helpful mm. to have your actors really doing the fighting and the stunts. And it makes it harder because we're literally teaching people to be athletes, creating warriors, creating fighters. But it allows me to tell a full story to have more uh, leeway with the camera because I'm not trying to hide stunt doubles. I don't have to quick cut around it, um, but it is, it's, it's an elaborate dance that you're continually honing and honing and honing um, until you feel like you've really got it right. And then it takes the actors to be willing to do that 16th, 17th, 18th take to make sure that we get it absolutely right. I mean, it, was, it sounds like incredible hard work, but it's been such talk from everyone who's on the press junket and in interviews of how this shoot was such a kind of positive one where everyone really boosted each other's kind of game. And there was a real sense of teamwork and pride to do this story justice. Often on a set, the filmmaker really sets the tone. So how do you go about keeping a, a happy shoot like that and a positive crew in the way that in the way that you have here? Mm -hmm. Well, it's lovely to hear. <laughs> um, I feel like my job as a director is to create a space where the actors feel safe enough to give me everything. So I do have to set the tone. I love what I do. I love making movies. So I want everyone to feel that, absolutely. I also want everyone to understand what actors have to give. Not only all the training that they did, so let's respect that and bring our A game so they're not having to do more than 17 or 18 takes, but also the, the emotional toll that some of these storylines took on these actors as well and what they have to dig into in themselves to be able to bring that to the screen. So to respect that always, but also to make people feel a part of the vision. If people believe in the vision, are inspired by the vision, then they give you everything to help you realize that vision as well. So my, my final question is, because I mean, obviously this, and I, I love the old guard as well, but you're putting kind of women front and center in the heart of action movies. And it's something that shouldn't be, feel unique, but still remains so in some ways in cinema. But can you feel the tide turning in that regard? Um, absolutely. It's slowly turning, but the more that we do it and normalize it, and that's the thing, it's not normal yet. It's normal in my life, growing up an athlete. And so I want to normalize it in, in everyone's lives. So again, the more success we have and the more that men can look up on screen and be excited by the fighting, regardless of who's fighting. So it's on you uh, to help us with that. Um, I think we'll get to see more and more. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Best luck with the release of the movie. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you know.